Welcome to the NatFL channel, where we keep you updated on NFL news every day. According to many reviews, Tua Tungavailoa is one of the top QBs for rookies in 2020. How would you evaluate Tungavailoa's rookie season? Tungavailoa had what could best be described as an uneven performance, though he also wasn't asked to throw the ball over the field the same way Burrow and Herbert were. Because of the way the Dolphins' defense and special teams performed throughout the 2020 season, job one for the offense was to play turnover-free and complementary football. In that sense, Tunga Vailoa did a solid job because it took a long time for him to throw his first career interception. Tunga Vailoa finished the season with an impressive 6-3 record in games he started. What was the high point of the season for Tunga Vailoa? This one is pretty easy when it comes to Tunga Vailoa. It was the game at Arizona in Week 9 in what was his second NFL start. After a shaky outing in his starting debut against the Rams, Tunga Vailoa put together a dazzling performance against the Cardinals that featured some timely passing as well as impressive scrambles out of the pocket. The highlight was a 93-yard touchdown drive that tied the score 31-31 early in the fourth quarter. Tunga Vailoa had a big third-down completion to Devontae Parker early in the drive and later had a key scramble before hitting Mac Hollins with a TD pass. What was the low point? Tunga Vailoa was pulled from two different games, at Denver and at Las Vegas, but it was the Broncos game that stood out. Tunga Vailoa seemed out of sorts for most of that game and confused by what the Broncos were doing defensively, though he didn't get much help that day from the offensive line. What is the biggest question facing Tunga Vailoa heading into the offseason? The major issue with Tunga Vailoa, and pretty much the biggest issue surrounding the entire team, centers around what kind of jump he can make if the Dolphins improve the quality of the playmakers around him and the offense is opened up when he's in the lineup. The Dolphins took him fifth in the 2020 draft with the idea he'd become their long-term answer at quarterback, but he just wasn't able to make the kind of immediate impact that Burrow and Hebert did. How big a step he can take in his second season will go a long way toward determining whether the Dolphins can take that next step and reach the playoffs.